Laura said, I'm Gemma Jones, I'm Data Strategy Manager at Abacus, and I'm here today sorry, to talk to you about our complimentary reports that we can potentially run for you to help, help you with your campaign and house file. So what I want, um, these, these reports are all part of the benefits of being an Abacus member, and what they should help you do is gain a better understanding of your customer's profile see true campaign performance across all your data supplies, and find opportunities uh, in further optimising your house file. So, within this agenda, there isn't time today to cover all the areas that we'd like to talk about, so please speak to your current client representative if I'm not including something you're particularly interested in. But the three areas of insight that I want to cover today are the uh, profile analysis, to help us and you to select the best names and models for your campaigns. The response analysis to understand in detail what happens once your campaign is completed. And house file overview to gain a greater insight into how your house file relates to the Abacus Alliance and therefore how we can help you to find further opportunities in that area. And then at the end I want to give you a few best practices in how we in Abacus review your campaign analysis when looking at different source data. So start with profile analysis. The pre-select report is uh, a quick report that we can run for you. And what it does, it compares your house file with the Abacus Alliance database and finds the top data selections that have a high proportion of buyers. Internally, we use this report to give us ideas for model lists, um, but this will give you a good uh, profile of your customers based on things like value, category, and recency. So this is an example uh, of a generalist retail catalogue. Um, the sort of information we might take from this report is uh, the affiliation with internet purchases and also high spend. Um, that might give us the idea to use uh, run internet models or uh, value models in your testing strategy. The sort of information that might be useful insight to you are things uh, that you can help maybe adapt your offer or your creative on things like what their newspaper readership is and what their credit history might be. So another profile report we can run is the CACI ACORN report. Uh, now ACORN, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is a consumer classification that segments the UK population. So by analysing demographic data, social factors and population, it provides information and understanding on different types of people. So depending on where you live on the, in the UK can uh, dictate on what your likes and uh, what sort of products you're likely to buy. We use this for model selections or exclusion lists and we find it particularly useful for gardening catalogues because it will give us a... It can, we can target rural areas where people have large gardens and spend a lot of time and money on their gardens. However, for you, it will provide you with information on your client base on things like wealth, life stage and demographic. So apologies, I know you can't see this very well, but I just wanted to give you a quick view on what would be including in your ACORN profile. And here you can see uh, this is where your house file is compared to the UK distribution as a whole and also the Abacus Alliance. The green cells showing where your house file is overrepresented and the red cells showing where your um, house file is underrepresented on different demographics such as these shown here. Um, the solution profile report is run alongside the Abacus One solution, which Ben beautifully explained earlier, but just to reiterate, the Abacus One <laughs> solution is where we run several models in conjunction rather than just one model taking the top segments from that one. So this report allows you to see the characteristics of the Abacus One prospecting data pool that we're outputting. And it should give you... Uh, the confidence to know that it's outputting the right names because it compares to your house file based on things like age and profile, um, sorry, age, income and gender. Um, and in this snapshot of a solution profile report, you can see the comparison between your house file and the Abacus One model data. Uh, and what we're showing here is the yellow graph is your household distribution and the modelled Abacus One data is shown in purple. And in this example, this is looking at household age. 
And what we want you to see is that you're getting like-for-like like data, so it should give you confidence in that the solution is working for you and that your prospecting universe is going to be like your house file universe is currently. So there are, um, these are some of the analysis that we can run after your campaign has completed. Now, obviously, most of you will run some sort of analysis in-house or through your agency. But I just want to show uh, what we do in-house, whether we can help with any further insight that you're currently missing. Campaign analysis, quite simply, is where we use your mailing file to see the performance of each list. Uh, matching on responders using name and address, we find more accurate than matching on simply source code, which is obviously dependent on your customers providing that information accurately. If you can supply us with a mailing file, we can look at uh, crossovers between your list providers and see which lists are performing very well and which lists are perhaps underperforming so that we can um, reduce the number of duplicate names that you're getting per campaign and hopefully reduce your costs. We also run a first order graph as, as standard with our response analysis. And what this will show is the active length of that campaign. And that can help you for future campaigns in deciding what your best drop dates are and at what point you sort of cut off and start another campaign. Lifetime value analysis. This is something we run uh, six to 12 months after your campaign has completed. And this is so that you can understand the true value of that campaign. So we will uh, look at the people who responded within that finite period, but then what did they go on to do after that? And we can do that for your inquirers as well, people who inquired because you sent them a prospecting campaign, but then they went on to buy further down the line. Um, this information can help you plan your future marketing budget more accurately, and we find this information really useful for uh, finding that group of high lifetime value buyers and using them to try and replicate that in your prospecting mailings to find people who look like that. A solution optimized report. So this is a report we run alongside uh, the Abacus One as part of the response analysis. It shows each individual model's uh, response rates, pound per books and match rates to the overall solution. And the reason we run this is so that we can see how each model would have performed and whether it's making a valuable contribution to your Abacus One. It also allows us to include tests uh, always, and it's sort of opening the black box of what an Abacus One is to give you insight into what's actually going on there. So these tables are split by segment. The green indicates a good performance, the white uh, within acceptable, and the red is where it's underperforming. So with this example, we would probably take this decision to remove this Chade model, which is pretty much underperforming, and replace it with one of the test models that wasn't previously included in the overall solution name, but we're able to run it alongside your, your live Abacus One, so that we're always testing, always making sure that your A1 includes the best models. So we'd probably switch those models around for your next campaign. Our house file overview can show you how we can add value to different parts of your house file. So if, um, it was with the star report, if you feel there's areas of your house file that you could be doing more with, we can show you the level of activity we have on the Alliance for those inactive or inquiry uh, pockets of data. You may not see much opportunity in very old lapsed house file data, but before you spend a lot of money on, re or a little money on reactivation, uh, we can show you the star report to show you where that money is best spent. Uh, in this star report example, uh, this is a client's 13 plus month inactive buyers. Now, inactive means different things for different people. However, what you can see here is how very active they are still on the Alliance, particularly within the last month. Promoted reports. This is something we do quite early on in the Abacus Alliance membership relationship, and this should help to alleviate your or the powers that be fears on uh, sharing your precious house file. Um, what it can show you is, uh, well, what you might be surprised to learn is that your unique buyers, so those that we don't currently have, our match rates are around 97, 98%, but anyway, so your unique buyers are not actually your best buyers. 
in this mature clothing example, you can see that the vast majority of, of the buyers have made purchases with more than 20 of our other Abacus Alliance members. And in fact, the average order value that they spend with that mature clothing is highest for that group of people. So typically, the more active your buyer is elsewhere with other uh, retailers, the more likely they are to spend more money with you. Um, and by running this report, you can also see how much information we have on your buyers, which may spark interest in our tagging products or further house file investigations. So as I said before, a lot of you will be doing your own analysis in-house, so I just want to share with you some of our best practices if you are comparing us with other sources and how we do that for you. Uh, so in order for all different data sources to have a level playing field, I would say that all data, all data suppliers should be excluding the same data selections from your mailing files. So your most recent house file, your affiliated multiple brands, uh, these all need to be concatenated into a one file so that there's not one list source excluding a massive amount of data when there's only uh, another list source is excluding a small amount of data and is able to supply that other exclusion data. This is just so that the results are, are not murky and you get a clear read on what they are. Uh, this is probably stating the obvious, but data sources should drop on the same day, have the same creative and the same offer. You really should be only testing one different factor at any one time to get a clear read on results. Um, to get a clear read and a statistically valid read, we recommend you have at least 100 responders for any test cell that you are testing. And if you, your prospecting uh, campaigns usually get about a 1% response rate, that means uh, mailing 10,000 names for a test cell. Um, and results should be compared on same available volumes. Now, uh, this is something I'd quite like to emphasise because it's quite key for Abacus in particular. Um, in the first table here, you can see that it looks like list B is supplying the best names. However, if you take into consideration that list A supplied a random sample from a 50k segment size, you can't compare like-for-like -like results and you need to investigate that analysis a bit further. So please, if you are um, testing us against other data sources, please let us know what sort of volumes you're testing us against and we can supply those test cells accordingly so that you can see like-for-like -like results. And finally, uh, duplicate names from previous mailings, um, so the multis, should be matched back in to get your, the true read of your individual list supplier's results. Now, this isn't the same as campaign analysis because, obviously, you'll be double-counting your orders um, here, but uh, for, to get a true read on individual results so you know who you should be including in the next campaign and you shouldn't, please match back in those multi-names. And that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>